Hi guys, my name is Rachel Back, and in this video I'm showing you how to make your own little flounder crossbody bag. He looks a bit ratty here because he's been to Disneyland and back. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye! So for this video, you're going to need some yellow fleece, some blue felt, a zipper and a bag strap. You're also going to need a little bit of ribbon and some eyes. So to start off, I put the yellow fabric on fold so I cut out two layers of it and I just drew out a simple flounder pattern without his tail and top fins and just cut around that leaving a seam allowance. And there is Puka being annoying and dangerous with his scissors, but yeah. Also I apologise for being in the camera all the time and blocking everything throughout this video as I actually made this about two hours before I left for Disneyland. So on the blue felt I again put it on fold and just cut out the two pieces for the tail and two pieces for the fin. So I didn't do the fin on both sides of the zip, I just did it on one to keep the balance. And again I cut out leaving a seam allowance around the edges. So when you're sewing it down you're going to sew along the side and across the top leaving the whole bottom curve open so you can turn it right way out and you're going to do the same thing on the tail as well you're going to go up the side around the curved edge down the side again and leave the bottom open so you can see i just sewed around all the edges here just with the seam allowance and then when i fold it right way out i cut out all the corners being careful not to cut through the stitching. I also did a little slit on the top where his little hair goes down just because that was causing a lot of bunching. So when I turned them right way out, I just sewed down some little straight lines just to add that kind of fin effect and I thought it really looked much better than just leaving it plain. But again, that's up to you. I also used a darker thread so it stood out more. And I repeated this for the tail fin as well. So on the base I included a little dart so I'm just going to mark this by marking two little slits on the bottom and then pinching them together and sewing about a inch and a half long dart. So this is optional, this just gives it a little bit more of a curved shape and you're going to want to do it with the right sides together. Then what I did was I actually cut out the tail and stripes off the main pattern just so I knew what sizes I wanted and then I cut them out on blue felt. So I just sewed them on by machine, you can do it by hand if you want, but it's just up to you. So I just left a little bit of the excess on the end, just to be safe. So you can see here, this is when I recorded and I forgot to sew it on beforehand. So just ignore that and pretend that's not what happened. So I'm just going to line up the tail fin. I actually lined up the zipper as well and sewed the two of them on together the second time around. But it's completely up to you, you can sew them on separately if you want. So for the zip, I just opened it up and placed it down the right side down and then I placed with the teeth facing outwards. So you don't want the teeth to be on the facing the inside, you want them to be facing out and you want them to be right side down. So then I just followed the curve along with the blue as well. So this is why I sewed it on with it so I didn't have it folded like that. So you can see here the way I sewed them together with all the fabric on one side. And I did this using a zipper foot as well, just to allow me to get as close to the fabric as I could. So for the other side, you're just going to line up the zipper again. And again, I'm sorry I blocked the camera so much. I was just on a tight schedule and didn't realise. So once you have it lined up, you're just going to pin down one of the sides just before you flip it over. So you can see here, I'm just folding the fabric and pinning it down. And then you're going to just flip it over and just pin the whole way along like you did before. So again, you want the teeth to be right sides together with the material. And then you're just going to sew this in place following the curve. And also, I wouldn't recommend using a bright white zip. I just didn't have any other zips. And as I said before, I was on a tight time schedule. So once you have them together, you're just going to leave the zip open and you're just going to line up the yellow pieces right sides together and pin in place. So you can see here I put my ribbon on the nose. I would not recommend that, but it's actually elastic so it pulled. So I would add that just to where the zipper ends. So I ended up using the zip as where I clipped on my bag strap. So in the future, if I was to do it again, I would move the ribbon up. 
So then I place the tail inside the material, just lining it up in place, and place the ribbon on the other side as well. I did like the placement of this one, it was just the other one I didn't like. And then I sewed the whole way around, making sure to include the ribbon and the tail, and just meeting up with the zip on either side. So once you have that done, you can snip out all the curved edges, and then you're going to place your eyes. So you just decide where you want them placed and then you're just going to cut a little slit and place them in and put your safety back on it. I did it on both sides which I didn't really need to because I didn't show the other side but that's just up to you. I also didn't add a fin on the other side because I was really lazy and I was getting to about an hour before I had to leave. So for the lining, I just recreated the main body piece and left some of the nose out. I wish I hadn't left as much of it out, but look, that's life. I also marked where the zipper started and ended and just sewed around to match them up. So then I placed the lining inside the main bag, wrong sides together, so the right side would be where your stuff goes in. And then I hand sewed the lining down. So you can see here, I just folded over the raw edges and just sewed that down by hand. I only sewed half it because I wanted to leave the other half open because here I put stuffing in just to give the bag a bit of shape. I didn't put too much stuffing in because I was bringing it overseas and I didn't want to take up space in my suitcase because let's be real, I was going to Disneyland, I was going to bring loads home. So once you're happy with the shapes, you can see here that I made sure it would fit a bottle of water and I tested it to see how it looked when it was up. So once you're happy with that, you can hand sew the other part closed. So once I had that done, I recreated the fin the same way I did the tail, but instead I folded in the raw edge before I added the stripes, and then I just hand sewed that on. I didn't do it on the other side because I thought it might bug me hitting off my leg, but I mean it's entirely up to you if you want both sides to be functional. Once this is done, that is your bag done! So it's a super cute idea and everyone absolutely loved it in Disneyland, especially the stormtroopers. If you haven't watched my vlog, you can see it there, they pulled me aside because they liked my bag but it's really cute and it just tied in with the Disneyland theme. And yeah, so if you'd give it a go, tag me on Instagram or Twitter so I can see. And if you do like this video, please like, share and yep. subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Looks good. Give me a twirl. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Yeah. <Good. laughs>